Okay, so today we're here talking about Elsie Wigington. She's been missing since June of last year, and the Aware Foundation is helping bring attention to this now. Tell me a little bit about when you found out about this case. We found out probably when you did. <laughs> we were tagged uh, numerous times, and I was tagged personally uh, several times. Uh, and so we reached out to the family. We gathered the information. Uh, we did confirm that, you know, that, there is a active investigation going ongoing now. Um, so once we confirm all that and gather all the information that we need on our end, we uh, we started helping the family. So give me a brief overview of what you know about this case. Well, um, again, I probably know about as much as you do. Uh, there are certainly some red flags that went up when uh, the family gave me all the information that we needed. Um, of course, there's a lot of things that we can't mention, just like the uh, sheriff's department can't mention, because it is an active investigation, and in no way do we want to compromise uh, the investigation. But um, I am I am a little disappointed that it took this long uh, to launch an investigation on her disappearance. I understand all agencies have criteria that they have to meet in order to, uh, to actively engage in, into, in an investigation. Uh, but in this particular situation, there were, uh, there were so many things that, uh, that I saw that uh, concerned me about this, uh, about Elsie and her disappearance. So I was a little surprised it took almost a year to get things uh, started. And what can you tell me about some of the things that surprised you? The fact that, um, again, according to what the family has told me, the fact that uh, uh, she would never go without talking to her kids. She was a grandmother. Uh, she was a 20-year, um, she had been involved in uh, nursing for 20 years. She was the director of nursing. Uh, she didn't file for recertification at the end of April. Um, even if, you know, with, with that in itself, uh, I would have thought that, uh, they would have lost an investigation last year. I don't know why. And I know that the reasoning was they thought she left voluntarily and she basically didn't want to be found. And, uh, unfortunately those are, you know, that happens. Uh, adults are allowed to go missing, uh, and, um, and no missing persons report can be filed. But in this particular case, there were a lot of uh, concerns from from my standpoint. And apparently the, you know, the new administration at Amherst also feels the same thing, that there's some, there's some people that need to be talked and uh, asked questions. And I, I know that, that, that they're in that process now. You've dealt with a lot of cases over the years. Have you ever seen anything quite like this? Yes, I have. <laughs> uh, and, you know, on the positive side, uh, we've had cases personally that the person has gone missing for uh, up to five years and they've actually personally contacted me after that five years and said, hey, here I am. Uh, so I don't give up hope, uh, but every, every situation is different. And in Elsie's case, um, it it definitely sends um it, it definitely makes me concerned for her well-being. And what is the Aware Foundation doing to help? We know that you guys are involved in helping. What is it that you guys do? Well, uh, we gather all the information from the family. That's the starting point. Uh, we at that point confirm with the investigating agency if there has indeed been a missing persons report filed. Once we can confirm that, uh, we create a missing flyer and we send it out, of course, you know, to all the local media in areas that we think may be a point of interest. Um, and we reach a lot of people and we do it quickly. And um, the first 24 to 48 hours is critical when someone goes missing. And this has been long overdue. And so the, about the only resource we have available now is to continue uh, getting the information out and provide updates that come our way. Uh, and hopefully 
with you know from the Virginia State Police and Amherst, they will be able to bring this family some closure. So like you just barely mentioned, the first 24 to 48 hours are crucial, but it's been a year. How a year. do you think this will impact the case? I think it will impact it quite a bit. Um, the longer it goes by, people's memories start to fade and um, they may forget uh, information that could have been critical at, during the time that she went missing. And uh, so again, by getting this information out now, we're still hoping that we could jog someone's memory that may have some critical information uh, that they didn't think were was important at the time uh, because they too may have thought, you know, Elsie may have just left on her own free will and she didn't want to be found. But we're going to continue pushing it until we get some resolve for this family. What do you think the best course of action is now to find out what happened to her? to continue doing what we're doing. The media continue doing what they're doing. And I must say you guys did an excellent job on this. I was um, I was, I was was quite pleased. And of course, uh, what the investigators, uh, both from local law enforcement and the Virginia State Police, uh, they have, you know, they have a lot of technology now uh, to gather evidence. And so I'm hoping that uh, by them working and I know they're working 24 seven on this case. I can promise you that. Uh, and I'm, I've been pleased with what I've heard so far. Pleased with what you've heard so far about the Amherst County Sheriff's Office and the new investigators? Yes, yes I have been. And I know that, uh, you know, in any missing persons case, once they deem that it, that it's possible that this person may have, you know, been harmed or they didn't leave uh, willingly, uh, they usually have people they want to go talk to and that's what's happening now. Uh, so they're trying to piece everything together. And uh, the only thing we can do at this point is continue pushing the story, not letting it, you know, be put up on a shelf and forgotten about or fall between the cracks. And that's what we're doing. That's what you guys are doing. And so I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping the family gets some, um, you know, even if it's something that they don't want to hear, I, I I look at it, it's still some form of closure. So we got to continue pushing it. We can't forget it. And we you know we as an organization, uh, because of that uh, persistence, we were able to solve three cold cases, uh, two in New York and one in Florida. And so we know it works. And so we just got to keep, we got to keep fighting. What can the public do to help? Is there anything that people can do that are out here watching? If the public, especially those that may know something, they need to come forth with that information. Uh, you know, they got to think about it if if this was their family member. Uh, and of course, the rest of us, again, like I said, we got to keep making sure that this case is not, it doesn't go cold. Uh, we have uh, at least five cases in Southwest and Central Virginia that unfortunately we know what has happened. Uh, we know that there's persons of interest in, the, in the, each of these cases, and it still hasn't been solved. So we want to make sure that this case is not forgotten. And that's what we're doing, and that's what we'll continue doing. Now, just any last thoughts that you have, anything that I missed that you wanted to speak about? I just really hope that if someone can think back of June of 2023, that something may be uh, of interest to this investigation, don't any small tip could be the tip that closes this case. Make sure you come forth with that information. Don't be the one that uh, hides behind uh, a computer screen and not come forth with the information that may give this family some closure. That's the most important thing at this point. Thanks for watching the ABC 13 YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos and live coverage and local stories, Click to subscribe and download our ABC 13 News app.